We have some major breaking news as the 2025 NASCAR Cup schedule looks to have been officially revealed. What's going on guys, it's Daniel and welcome back to our video. As I just said, Nico, we got some pretty major breaking news as it looks like the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series schedule has been revealed for 2025. Jordan Bianchi from The Athletic, who usually puts a little bit of an early look at the schedules, he has revealed what he has been told what the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series schedule is going to look like. Now, it's not expected to be officially announced to tomorrow for the Xfinity Series and Truck Series, and we don't have the Xfinity Series and Truck Series schedule yet currently at the moment, but he does have a look at the 2025 NASCAR Cup schedule. So we're going to go through that today. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the, the season is going to kick off on February 2nd at Bowman Gray for the Bush Light Clash. This was announced about a week or two ago that the Bush Light Clash will be taking place at Bowman Gray Stadium. will not be returning to Los Angeles as NASCAR will not be in the Los Angeles area for 2025 as Auto Club will also not be on the schedule for 2025. Bowman Gray hope to put on some good racing. It's going to be very cold. It's unknown if it's going to be a day or night race, but we do believe more than likely that it is going to be a night race as they've had it at night the last couple of years. I do expect that it will be a night race for 2025. After that, on February 16th, will be the Daytona 500, which will be the first point paying race of 2025. This was announced about a, month, a couple months ago. Daytona 500, once again, will be the opening race of 2025. After that, on February 23rd, we'll race at Atlanta Motor Speedway for the second race of 2025. No brainer, in my opinion. We had a barn burner of a race earlier this year. It was a great decision to move to the second race of the year. Plus, the ratings were very, very good for the Atlanta race earlier this year. And we had an amazing finish. No shock to see this move. The first other big change for the points paying side of things will be on March 2nd at Circuit of the Americas. This will move from race number 5 or 6 from 2024 to the third race of the year. Not a shock that they're moving a little earlier. I think the weather will definitely be a little bit better for sure, especially when Texas can get warm basically in March at the time. So Coda will be the third race of the year. Chris Myers also had reported this a couple days ago. But Coda will be the third race, meaning there will be a road course early in the season. This will be the earliest that a road course has been on the schedule since 2021. So Coda will be the third race of the season. After that on March 9th, Phoenix will be the fourth race of the year. No shock here. Phoenix has been the fourth race of the year the last few years especially. So Phoenix will have the first of their two dates on March 9th. And then after that, another change. On March 16th, we'll be racing at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Vegas moves from race three of the year to race five of the year. Makes sense. Kind of have that West Coast area considering Texas is kind of closer to that West Coast area than I think we all realize. So Vegas moves from race three of the year to race number five of the season. And then after that, another big change. On March 23rd, we'll be racing at Homestead Miami Speedway. Homestead moves out of the playoffs and will move back to March for the first time since 2021. Homestead in 2021 was early in the year. Homestead moves back early in the year as there's rumors that they're looking for a warm climate date in the early portion of the season. But also rumors is they're trying to find a way to get the season finale in 2026 and they're pushing for that. So Homestead will move to the sixth race of the year. After that, on March 30th, we'll race in Marnsville. No brainer that's been expected at this point. It will be the seventh race of the year. And then we have another change on April 6th at Darlington. Darlington moves from the Mother's Day weekend to early April. That will be the throwback race once again. Not been officially announced, but we do believe that the throwback race is coming back in 2025. And Darlington moves from the middle of May to, early Darl to the early April portion of the season. And then after that, on April 13th, We'll be racing at Bristol Motor Speedway. Moves back a couple weeks from late March and moves to the middle of April for 2025. And then on April 20th, will be Easter weekend. Obviously, Easter NASCAR Cup Series will not be racing, but we do believe that the Xfinity Series and Truck Series will not confirm. They are expected to race at Rockingham Speedway in 2025. That likely will be revealed tomorrow. And then after the break, on April 27th, we'll be racing at Talladega Super Speedway. It's been on this weekend. No brainer. Then on May 4th, we have another change. Texas Motor Speedway moves from the early portion of April to the first weekend of May. It happened in early April. It's going to be a little warmer during this time when it happens at Texas Motor Speedway, but Texas moves back a little bit farther in the year. Then after that, on May the 11th, we'll be racing at Kansas Speedway. No changes here. It's been in the early portion of May the last couple of years. It will once again be there on May the 11th. And then after that, on May 18th, once again, we'll have the All-Star Race at North Wilkesboro. There have been talks, conversations of making it a points paying race for 2025, but it'll once again host the All-Star Race in 2025. 
Then after that, May 25th, which will be the first prime race on the schedule, we will have the Coca-Cola 600. It will kick off the prime section of the season, as Dale Jr. will call his first race with prime that year. It will be on May the 25th. And then after that, another big change coming. National moves from the end of June to the first weekend of June on June 1st. It's unknown if it's going to be a Sunday night race or Sunday afternoon. I guarantee you it will likely be a Sunday night race as they'll try to fight the weather to, because it will be very hot during that time. It'll be the first weekend of June in 2025. After that, on June 8th, we'll have Michigan. Michigan moves from the middle portion of August to the second weekend of June. The weather's been an issue the last couple years when it's taken place in August, so it makes a lot of sense to move it earlier in the year. And the weather should be a lot better during that time. It'll be a lot cooler during that time because Michigan can still be in the 70s during that time. So it'll be moving to June 8th. And then after that, on June 15th, we finally got confirmation on this yesterday, but NASCAR will in fact be racing in Mexico City in 2025 for the first time we'll have an international race since 1958 when i believe i think richard penny might have won that race at toronto if i remember correctly it's been a long time since that race happened but mexico city will be hosting the first nascar cup series international race in a long time and all six finish series and the truck series not truck series the mexico series will be racing on that same weekend as well and then after that on june 22nd we'll be racing at pocono Pocono moves a couple weeks earlier in the year, but it's kind of back to where it used to be back when the schedule had two dates at Pocono. It'll be in late June. And then on June 28th will be the first prime race on Saturday night at Atlanta Motor Speedway. This had been confirmed about a month or two ago when we all thought the schedule was coming earlier. Atlanta will be the first TNT race. Dale Jr. will be calling that event. Atlanta will have a Saturday night race, which I think is going to be pretty exciting. This moves out of the playoffs for this year. And then after that on July 6th, we will have the Chicago Street Course. I hope they do schedule a little bit earlier in the day. I'm glad they're bringing it back. I think Chicago's put on some pretty good shows, and we saw SVG get his first career win in the Cup Series last year. He'll be a favorite to win this one for sure. And then after that, on July the 13th, we go to Sonoma. Sonoma is going to be later in the year. This one I question a little bit. I think having it in June with that Mexico City weekend would have made a lot of sense, kind of be close to that area. It would have made a lot of sense. I'm a little surprised they're moving it later in the year. A little shocking there. And then on July the 20th, we'll be racing at Dover. Dover moves from early May now to later July, or while my mother's birthday weekend so dover will be later in the year this has been rumored for a while that it was going to be moving to the later portion of the season it will be the third race i believe or the fourth race excuse me during the tnt portion of the year it's going to be very hot but the weather should be a lot better and we shouldn't have any rain out situations coming that weekend and then finally the last race on the tnt side of things will take place at the brickyard 400 on july 27th so it moves a week back from last year it moves a little bit later in the year it'll be on july 27th and then after that, on August 3rd, will be the first NBC race, and it'll take place at Iowa Speedway, moving back from the middle portion of June to the first weekend of August. It'll be during the Knoxville Nationals weekend, which I find to be very, very interesting, to say the least. It will be the first race of the NBC portion of the season. I think it will likely still end up being on USA, despite the fact it'll be the first race for NBC. I do think that race likely will be on USA. After that, on August 10th, we'll race at Watkins Glen, Watkins Glen will move out of the playoffs again after only being in for one season. It will move out of the playoffs and move back to where it originally was because of the Olympic break. It had to go to the playoffs this year. It will be on August 10th. And then after that, we have back-to-back -back Saturday night races. On August 16th, we'll race at Richmond. And then on August 23rd, we'll race at Daytona. Back-to-back -back Saturday night events. It's going to be very fun to watch a good short track race, hopefully. There will only be one Richmond date in 2025. Of course, Mexico City is taking the Richmond date for 2025. So Richmond will be August 16th, and Daytona will be August 23rd, which will close out the regular season. And now we get to the playoff schedule, and we already knew what the schedule was going to be. On August 31st, will be the Southern 500 to open up the playoffs for 2025. Then on September 7th, Gateway moves from its June weekend to the second race of the round of 16. No brainer, in my opinion, to move it in there, considering the fact that you have the IndyCar race, which is moving to the weekend the NASCAR Cup Series was likely going to run. They moved it to the middle of June, so they had to move it around. I think having Gateway in the playoffs makes sense, plus it's not a major playoff market, in my opinion, or NFL market, I should say. So I do think that Gateway moving into playoffs is great. And then September 13th, we'll brace at Bristol Motor Speedway for the cutoff race of the round of 16. 
Then on September 21st, New Hampshire moves to the middle of June to the sec first race of the round of 12 in the middle of September. NASCAR will need to start that race a little earlier to try to get it in, especially if weather becomes a factor. But weather should not be as big of an issue during that time as rain is not as big prevalent at that current time. Then on September 28th, we'll race to Kansas for the round of 12. And then the final race of the round of 12 will take place on October 5th at the Charlotte Roval. There have been rumors of it potentially moving to a later port, moving back to the Charlotte Oval, I should say, but the Charlotte Oval will make its return in 2025 once again. And then we get to the round of eight. On October 12th, we'll race the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. No brainer. It's been the opener of round of eight the last couple of years. It will be the opener once again in 2025. And then October 19th, as expected, Talladega will be the second race of the round of eight. Not a big fan of this move. I think I've kind of talked about it in the past. I don't think that you should have a super speedway race. I think if you swap Kansas and Talladega, I think that would work out a lot better. And then October 26th, we'll race in Martinsville for the cough race of the round of eight. And then the season finale will be November 2nd at Phoenix for the championship weekend. So it's moving back eight days prior. So the season will be a little bit shorter next year and won't be as long. So what are some of the positive changes for 2025? I think having Coda on the schedule a little earlier in the year, I like that move. I also do like the fact that you're going to be going to Mexico City. I think that's a fantastic move that NASCAR is doing. I think bringing back Chicago is a fantastic move in my opinion. I think it's good to see that that's back next year. Watkins Glen being a regular season date, I really feel like, yes, there should be a road course in the playoffs, but I feel like having Watkins Glen in the middle of August Always makes a lot of sense, in my opinion. Having back-to-back -back Saturday night races, having more Saturday night events, we're going to have four next year instead of the two we had this year, which I think is really, really exciting. I think Gateway being the playoffs is actually a pretty big positive, and I think there's a lot of good changes there. But there's also some negatives. Let's begin with some of the early ones. Homestead being earlier in the year. I wish Homestead was back in the playoffs. I understand why it's not going to be in the playoffs for 2025 because they're looking to get the season finale. I'm not as big of a fan of that move. Texas being moved back a little bit farther in the year, not a big move of that in my opinion, a big fan of that. i also not the biggest fan of some of the other changes like having Talladega in the round of eight. I am not a fan of that move. I've talked about my frustration with that being there. I think you're going to get a fluke winner that doesn't deserve to be in the championship for. I think that likely ends up happening. And then you have New Hampshire. I question this move. I feel like New Hampshire should be where it's at. I think it was good where it was at. I understand why they moved it because of weather issues, but I feel like it should be a little bit later in the earlier in the year, in my opinion. Nash will be in the first week of June. Very interesting. Michigan moving earlier in the year. That's actually a good move, in my opinion. And overall, there's definitely some positives. There's some negatives. Same with Sonoma moving later in the year. <clears throat> That's a little questionable, in my opinion. But overall, it's very intriguing. There's definitely a lot of changes. Some positive, some negative. And I think there's some good things NASCAR did with the schedule. But I also think there's some bad things they did. I feel like also Kansas should personally be in the round of eight instead of being in the round of 12 and swap Talladega and Kansas. And I think you got a really good push to the playoffs. I think it's going to be very interesting to see how it plays out. As the year goes on, we'll have the Xfinity and Truck Series schedules once those get officially revealed tomorrow. And there's some other changes coming there. There's rumors of Lime Rock coming on Xfinity. There's rumors of Rocky M coming back. And it'll be very interesting to see what the other schedules look like. But at least we know what the Cup schedule is going to look like for 2025. So that is going to be a for the look at the 2025 NASCAR Cup Series schedule. I want to thank guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Notifications on so if I win a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support my Patreon as well. Let's get some more of that and comment your thoughts below on today's episode. What do you like about the 2025 NASCAR schedule, and what changes would you make to the schedule? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Later today on the channel, we're going to have the NASCAR Xfinity Series Race Picks video for Darlington. Well, tomorrow, we're going to have the NASCAR schedule look for all three series. We're also going to have Cup Race Picks for the Southern 500 and the Paint Scheme video as well later in the day. Then on Friday, we're going to have a NASCAR News video discuss news over the course of the last couple days. And then, of course, throughout the weekend, we're going to be having that Colic Racing video coming out soon because we're expecting them to announce their driver on Saturday. And we got a lot of great content dropping very, very soon on this channel. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.